beloveds grand rising everybody it's your girl clement fine and i'm tapping in beloveds with a message what we need to know right now whenever you're watching this reading okay i do want to say to everybody mars day blessings because it is mars day the moon is in libra Okay, so we could be focusing on our beauty routines or justice, the law, our responsibilities, okay? I'm seeing a lot of red energy right now, totally a lot of red energy surrounding us, okay? This red energy is speaking to me of production, 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 protection, okay? Protection, and passions okay and passions and maybe some people they also need to be feeling a little bit productive okay feeling a little bit productive here okay needing to get it done mars day is going to be giving us the energy that we need to get it done okay okay some people here <laughs> some people here going to be eating a glizzy for lunch or something like that i'm seeing it okay i'm seeing it <laughs> maybe with some ketchup but yes that's i want to say the red is protection but productive came out so maybe some people need to get pro be productive okay be productive today protect your peace by being productive okay Yesterday, I went, uh, I'm on the Week Ahead Horoscope on YouTube, and we talk about ritualizing our, um, ritualizing our spiritual hygiene, okay? So, something that you might want to do for today is protection, okay? Because it is Mars Day. You might want to do a protection spell, protection, um, for your house, protection for yourself, okay? Protection for your family. Don't get caught out here slipping, Okay? <laughs> we got the five of wands that came out i think for like i feel like this is people in their head okay this is people in their head this could also be you fighting with people in your head they don't even know that you're fighting with them okay you're you're fighting with them in your head you took an ish to them in your head you you don't even say it out loud though this could also be uh a, like a confrontation or a fight coming out of nowhere okay needing to protect your peace okay we got the wheel of fortune coming in now this is popping right because i'm focusing with this energy of sagittarius it's all about that fortune it's all about that luck that favoring this week on friday we have the collective candle reiki okay it's um new moon new moves a lucky level of activation the last time we did the lucky level of activation was the new moon in sagittarius so we're picking up that cycle ending it here with that eclipse season lucky level up and i feel like this is also going to be so we could take the moves the actions okay to get to that next level to to align with that luck okay wheel of fortune as our challenge some people here having a challenge because they don't want to expand or they don't want to change okay this is also really fixed energy okay because only the fixed signs are on this card and the fixed signs during this season during this eclipse season are really being called to change taurus scorpio leo and aquarius you've been dragging your feet all year on certain changes that you need to make okay and you're fighting with yourself at this point it's you versus you and your higher self and you're needing to kind of here not be too stubborn with this energy allow yourself to change allow yourself to grow allow yourself to learn to complete and end that cycle wheel of fortune is a 10 so it is the closing of a door the closing of a chapter but people have anxiety about it it's like they're they're clinging on for deal for dear life i'm hearing like claws on a chalkboard okay you are so stubborn in this way but you don't want to regret not taking the action at this time because this the planets are supporting us okay the planets can only help support us here okay and in this way the support is coming in to make that to change to make that change to spin the wheel of fortune but there could be someone here also with this energy people could be having difficulty sleeping or having um scary dreams okay um or regret about something that you said or maybe you want to you want to uh, confront somebody you want to have this conversation confrontation but you you're like getting stuck in the throat 
okay? We have the Three of Pentacles. This is about teamwork, beloved. This is about teamwork, beloved, but I feel like someone feels a little bit ostracized. The Moon card just came out with the, em the Moon, the Emperor, and the Chariot just came out. Some people need to focus on their cars. Maybe some people are looking to get a new car or your car is going to need maintenance at some point. Some of you guys, this could be someone like your daddy's car or your boss's car, your partner's car as well. They could be having going through car issues and need your help as well. I'm seeing someone switch out their car or switch parts for their car. Okay. We have the moon card coming up as one of our challenges here. This is, um, I feel like people dealing with a lot of mental health awareness. Okay. Being gentle with your mental health. Do like avoiding things that you know you shouldn't do that trigger you because so many times, even though you know you have something that you struggle with, you want to like tempt yourself, you want to go for the bait, you want to, um, like people like that rush, okay? <laughs> you like that rush, and with this energy of the moon card, it's very easy to get triggered, especially in this week, okay? It's very easy to get triggered, and also with this energy. There could be secrets being revealed or you seeing a side of yourself, okay? Someone, the emperor, this could be a secret around your father, okay? Or your father's side of the family or your boss, okay, in some way. I also have this energy of someone who like kind of went into business for themselves or they're doing something for themselves and they have one, um, they have one goal in mind or they have like one thing in spirits like it's so much bigger than that. OK, it's so much bigger than that. OK, so you you have an idea. You have a glimpse. OK, you have you see a little bit of light, but you don't see the complete end of the light. It's like something is going to be actually a lot bigger. OK, this is another message coming in for some of you guys. Some of you guys who are your own boss. And with this energy here, you're needing to kind of I feel like there's a lot of like struggles or hidden some people have hidden enemies, okay? Hidden enemies, not everybody is your bestie, okay? As well, don't tell everybody your plans. Don't let people put fear into your plans. Is what I'm seeing with that energy, beloved, okay? Um, and with the cherry and the moon card, we're having to kind of dominate our feelings, like knowing that they are not facts, okay? Our feelings are not facts. We're not putting control on our feelings, like giving our feelings a control, but it's what we do with our feelings, okay? It's how we transmute our feelings, how we interact with our feelings, okay? Um, as well. Damn. Not the Ten of Swords. After we have the Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Queen of Cups, very emotional, and the Guru card. Now we have two fives. Five, five, you guys could be seeing that number a lot. Five is about freedom and change. Okay, changes for more freedom. Queen of Cups with the Ten of Swords. Someone's back hurts. You could be also needing to get like acupuncture, check out your back. Okay, stretching in your back. Someone also could be feeling backstabbed by the end of the week. All right, backstabbed or you feel like this could also have been over the course of a time. With a friend, this friend could have been a water sign or an air sign. I mean, or a fire sign, an Aries. And then we have the Guru card. This is that Taurus energy. And the Guru card, when we're in Sagittarius season, we're really focusing on divine wisdom, higher knowledge, learning. So this could be somebody becoming their own guru, okay? Doing their own studies, doing their own research, okay? Research for their own spiritual development, this could also be someone um, taking an online course, okay? Taking an online course or taking any courses, YouTube University that you've been interested in. Um, I'm also seeing some of you guys have a very petty woman in your life who could be causing and stirring up drama and you need to learn how to not put your energy into that person, okay? It's kind of like earmuffs around this person because this person like survives off of misery. Almost what I'm seeing with that Queen of Cups, okay? And the Ten of Swords next to each other. It's like, it's like they just care about their emotions and their drama and they kind of want to put you into their whirlwind. Wow, okay. We have Fortune, 
And this, and we have the Wheel of Fortune, and I expanded on this and how Sagittarius season is a lucky season, bringing us fortune, and we're working on the lucky level up activation for the Reiki on Friday, okay? And child. Someone has a child, okay, who could be bringing them a fortune, okay? You could also have a very fortunate child, okay? Some of you guys, this child is not a physical child, but this is a project. This is a baby, in a sense. This is something new, for you maybe something new that you're doing that's going to be bringing you a lot of fortune like i had that vision earlier of like someone who like they only see a little bit of it they don't see how the how it's going to be expanding in this major way it's like you just see a little bit you just see the child you don't see the fortune that is bringing into your life the blessings that is bringing into your life okay so it's just about kind of taking that leap of faith i have literal chills all over my body adi adi okay all over my body, adi, adi. I feel like this is a, a seed at this point. Might not be a physical child. Might be, again, a, a project, something that you're focusing on. You're nurturing like a baby. And it's going to be bringing you a lot of fortune, a lot of expansion. This is not only financial fortune, but it feels like emotional well-being after all of this, like, oh my God, like, who's for me? Who's against me? Who's really there? You know, and this also feels a lot like work, okay? This could be people you work with or in relation to work with. Ciao. All right, my love. So I, I can't, this is crazy. I want you to start thinking about a question you want to ask, a yes or no type of question. Start thinking about it right now because I'm going to pull from the book of answers in a second. Um, also, yeah, people could be having dreams about kids, dreams about kids, dreams about being pregnant. Okay. Dreams about maybe even projects you want to have. Some people, this child also could be new you know if it's not a, like a, a a human child okay it could be a fur baby okay i want you to think about your question think about your question um okay wow hello friends and family let's talk child we have ghost anger Death, pain, the Someone ghosted you or maybe you ghosted somebody and it caused them a lot of pain and anger. Now, if you have an inclination, if you have a feeling that you need to kind of remove yourself from somebody, remove yourself from a situation, it's good on you. Don't be regretting this sort of situation because with that queen of cups, this person could also be jealous. This person could also be very jealous, okay, of you. So don't, it's like someone has to process almost like a, this could be a breakup, a friendship breakup, um, a separation of some sort. But with this ghost energy, someone ghosted, you or the other person ghosted, and it's causing a lot of anger and pain, but this death, it was needed. This transformation, it was needed. Oh my God. Okay. And what did I say? What did I say when I started the reading? I was seeing red and we got two red cards. Root chakra. People could, and with the eclipse season coming up, it's going to be emotional. It's going to, it's going to be emotional and it's okay to feel that anger and that pain and that frustration. It doesn't mean that you got to be the, it doesn't mean that you got to be the one to put yourself back in a bad situation because you feel guilty or anything like that. There's other ways to transmute things, writing about it, talking about it with someone you trust. Okay. Um, you know, prayer child writing a letter and burning it up but i'm not gonna say to put yourself in a position where you're doing something because that you're only going to end up in the same situation it's like you or that person left for a reason it's not about going back and repeating the same energies book of answers i hope you have your question if you don't you can pause the rating okay we have speak up about it. Someone needs to open up that throat chakra and speak up about it. Talk about it. Okay. Not everyone is a psychic mind reader. Not everyone's a psychic medium. You need to speak up about it. Even if they are, don't let these things go up into chance. There's some throat chakra activation that is happening. You need to talk your talk. Say what it is and what it ain't. Now we saw five, five in the reading. We also have 10, 10. That's that ending, beloved. That's that ending, beloved. Okay. So we got a card that says things are tough right now, so give yourself a break. The 
walrus of wisdom. What the F is the deal with beating ourselves up more when things get tough instead of showing a bit of kindness? Like, are we in a uh, effy upside down world in our heads? The gentle wisdom of walrus says tap into your heart, not your head. There you will find some warm, warm, huggy love for yourself. So love upon yourself. Take a break. Things could be a little bit tough. You might need a break. You might need a separation. You might need to ghost. You might need to go ghost maybe for a little bit to process your emotions and your energy so you don't be lashing out on someone and be just straight up attacking them. Okay. Where's that ten, where's that five of uh five of one? Yeah, don't be like this. Take a break. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. Okay. Just calm down. Take a break. <laughs> Give yourself a break. Into, like in that energy of giving yourself a break it's like don't be too hard on yourself okay don't be too hard on your process don't be too hard on your progress don't be too impatient with yourself we have spend time with friends okay spend time with friends alone time what the hell spend time with friends and alone time i would recommend here with the eclipse energy Definitely wanting to be alone, maybe a little bit on Friday or Saturday. Have some time for yourself and maybe as well with friends who support your mental health, okay? With supportive people. Deep breathing and clear your energy field, okay? Clearing your energy field, smudging your crib, taking deep breaths and clean your space. We got this yesterday. Clean your space, clean your energy field. We're cleaning our energy field with the Reiki this weekend, beloved, okay? Cleaning your space so you can make more room. This eclipse energy is a great time to change your crib or uh, redecorate, relocate, and everything like that. Ciao. I also talked about this yesterday in the week ahead horoscope that if there is a closet or something that you need to go through because people are going to be finding like money or you're going to be finding some piece of clothing that you forgot about some piece of clothing that um that you thought you lost so with that message coming up twice it's a real message for you guys to really see what the hell is up i'm excited for you to find your clothes to find some money to clean okay think about it you like digging for treasure okay you're gonna feel better about it afterward and the treasure is all yours <laughs> I love that. Okay. Miss Amor, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the badges. Well, people sent me badges. I'm sending you guys blessings and abundance tenfold. Okay. Go to my website, Big Empress Energy, LLC.com, to cure your spot for Friday's Collective Candle Reiki. It includes a YouTube live sound bath and group reading for the lucky level up activation. Okay. Um, and check it out on YouTube, the week ahead horoscope. And I'm going to be going live later on YouTube for the pick a card. So you need to turn on your alarm, subscribe, and everything like that. Take care of yourself. Okay. Bye.